Well, afraid, yes, because we, I had a lot of young, talented, fabulous young people at, the, at my organization, and they would always say to me, how do you do it? I'm so terrified. I'm so nervous. And I would tell them the story about how I would fake illness in order to get out of speaking, and here I am. You know, it's really an opportunity for people. So I think it, the, the lesson to them that I always say is, don't ever think that you're not a good public speaker or that you can't do it. You absolutely can. It is about training. It is. There are some people that are more naturally gifted than others, and there are people for whom public speaking is just not the most powerful way for them to, to move forward. But it really is a skill that can be developed. And in terms of why it's useful, it is. <laughs> in terms of why it's useful, I would say that no matter what you do, there is going to be a part of you that will have to engage with other people and have to find a way to make your ideas at any level, whether it's advocating for something you want to change in a department or whether it's giving a big public speech. There are going to be situations where you need to be able to express yourself in a way that moves and speaks to people. So this term public, you can define public however you want. You can define it as two people or you can define it as you know, a thousand people. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the, the specific skills will be di different and more developed in different situations, but the opportunity to learn how to speak to somebody in a convincing way, which I think of as public speaking, and to be comfortable with yourself in those roles when you're with other people, those are skills that are valuable regardless of where you are in life.